greater than or greater than or equal to? Greater than? Yeah, greater than. It's greater than. Because if it's equal to, then it will perfectly put the whole thing. But if it's greater than, then we want to say uh, SI uh, equals 1 instead. Because uh, like we were looking at in this picture over here, like this is the case. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so basically, so like um, in the case that... Uh, in the case that um, the anchor point, in the case that uh, this, the so this is the, uh, this is this value here is uh, what is it this this uh, this scroll this is the scroll value this <laughs> this value here is the scroll value of the zero slide of like this you know this one um, <laughs> the one uh, the one that occupies this half of the screen. Uh, the, that's the the scroll value because this is like the start of where this so like when these then when the scrolls like this is the the position to start blitting from uh, for it but uh, so then if this value is greater than the anchor point then the the, the partial blit that we want to do that we want to calculate the subregion for is uh, is actually part of the the one not part of the zero the zero is going to blit normal in its entirety uh, but it's like the it's the one. So we set the uh, the slide index uh, si. We're setting the slide index to be to be one in that case. Uh, otherwise, if uh, if it's not the case, if it's uh, if uh, if uh, the slide value is if so in the case that anchor is greater than uh, than this 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 uh, skip scroll excuse me the scroll value of uh, of zero, that means that the partial blit, like this partial blit, is uh, is all on the z, is on the excuse me the the zero, uh, slide. All right, that's what that's about. <laughs> Which is probably not any more or less clear than it was a moment ago. Uh, anyways, <laughs> so but yeah, so we needed to know si in order to calculate x blit from, because x blit from. Is based on the scroll value of uh, of the this based on the, using using the scroll index like the scroll of the index that we just calculated. So x split from is based on uh, uh, index si. Uh, yeah. So next end wires uh, middle foreground layer the scroll value si. Minus, excuse me. Uh, minus. No, 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 no. No. Oh, whoa. <laughs> so I just calculated SI to mean. Um, I just calculated SI to mean uh, which slide we're sub blitting. But actually, we want to do the opposite for. Uh, for this equation. So SI is important, but we also need to know the other side of SI. <laughs> we, need, we need to know the one that SI isn't. So I guess, um, so, so, all right, so, so, uh, I'll, I'll do CI and SI. So, uh, CI will be the calculation index, uh, and, uh, so calculation index will start at one and uh in the case of this uh in, in like in this whatever whatever the uh the calculation index will also flip flop um and so uh so actually no what we want to use to calculate <laughs> what we want to use to calculate the x split from value is not the um is not the uh oh wait 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 no maybe it is hold on <laughs> uh wait yeah no 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 I was wrong we do need to, we do not calculate that right I was thinking it'd be it'd be easier technical calculation if we used uh if we use the other value but it's not going to work in every case because in this case the uh we have to use this one. We have to use the uh, the SI uh, thing in order to calculate it because uh, otherwise, uh, 
like the, the 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 one value is like way off screen but it's off screen in um in the wrong direction it's like way off in uh in that direction so we'd get like a weird nonsense value all right i lied i lied uh all right so we do want to use si but we don't want to all right so so how do we want to use si i guess is the question so we, we have the position of the 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 start of the slide, and so then we have to add the length of the slide and then subtract the x blit 2, I think is how that works. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> so this plus uh, g width, did we decide it was called? g width uh, minus uh, x blit 2. Uh, <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> and so in that case, uh, oh, we do need to. We do still need uh, the other index. Uh, so, <laughs> um, I'll, uh, I would have. I'll just say. Uh, yeah, I'll just say. <laughs> so now. Uh, all right, so, oh yeah, okay, so now we have to set up this partial blit, which is, the partial blit is similar to the regular blit. The difference being, we need to put in a separate, um, so, so, all right, so we're, we're using the, uh, we're not using the scroll value of SI anymore. We're using, uh, we're using X split two. Right? Yeah, x split 2 is the new this value. Uh, x split uh, 2. Because this is where on screen we want to blit. Yes. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so then the last thing that we have to do is, uh, oh, 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 we don't want to blit g width. Oh. So that's another thing. So actually, we need another value. Uh, oh, okay, actually, okay. So we need. Uh, oh, whoa! What? <laughs> Sorry. We need. Um, we need. Uh, so like x split width, I guess. Uh, and that equals. Uh, Uh, another weird number <laughs> equals g width <laughs> minus uh... wait what <laughs> no 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 uh, what <laughs> it equals uh, g width minus uh, and then in parentheses uh, X split two minus the scroll SI maybe <laughs> I'm just like throwing in numbers at this one. <laughs> um yeah, because we only want to blit um we don't want to blit like all the way across the screen. We only want to blit from uh from here to here. We only want to blit like this distance. Oops, that's not how you would draw a curly brace. We only want to blit this distance. So this distance is is what it's the it's the full width of the length of the no no no. This distance is just this distance is simple. This is just a uh, no 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 right because I'm I, I the 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 index that I have to work with is is the one index not the zero index. So I have to take the uh, the one index which is way off screen all the way to the left. I have to add the width of it which will get us this point here, right? Okay, so so it's one plus the width minus... Wait, what? Isn't that what I just calculated the other one to be? <laughs> How is this different? So it's a... Uh... Oh! Wait. <laughs> That's totally what I just calculated this one to be. Why? What? 
clearly I've done something wrong. Which one did I get wrong? It, it might have been the first one. So the position, the, the position way off screen, like let's call it like negative a thousand. So we add in 1600 and that brings us to here, right? So now we have 600. So 600 minus the anchor point. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I did the wrong calculation. Or I did the right calculation but for the wrong value. So I think this one is actually scroll si plus g with minus x split 2. I mean, that was just what I walked through. So what am I actually trying to get in terms of uh, blip from? Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm trying to get... Um, Oh, the X split from is much simpler. It's actually just, uh, the anchor point minus the, the SI, the scroll SI, right? Cause like in this case, uh, so let's say this is 600 and let's say this is like 500. So this would be 500, 500 minus 10 hundred is 1500 or excuse me 500 minus uh negative 10 hundred is going to be 1500 and that's going to be the correct starting point all right yeah so that was weird that i accidentally calculated the wrong value <laughs> but it turned out to be the other one anyways uh so yeah so so wait oh yeah no the other way around so x split two minus uh Minus, yeah. All right. <laughs> I think, I don't know. We'll see, if it looks like the water's flowing in the correct direction, that'll be how we know that uh, this is actually working. Right, and so then the other thing that we have to do is we have to blit the, uh, not the SI scroll value, but the other one, the regular one. Uh, or not the regular one, but in a regular manner, we have to blit the, uh, the, the, uh, so, uh, M, F, G, yeah, uh, scroll, so it's not scroll I, it's scroll, uh, <laughs> it's scroll S, I, plus, uh, one, modulo, two. <laughs> and so whichever one we're not, um, calculating as the S, I, it's the other of the two. Uh, so if it was zero, it's one modulo two, which is one. And if it was zero, or if it was one, then it was one plus one modulo two, which is two modulo two, which is zero. Yay. <laughs> uh, and this one does go for the full width. Uh, all right. I'm just going to see what this does. <laughs> Probably it's going to, so I'm going to bring down the, uh, I'm going to bring down the script and then, uh, I'm going to restart it and, uh, Probably what's going to happen is just a bunch of errors. Actually, I don't need to wait for the script to load in characters because, like, we're just testing the... Whoops. Wait, what? Wait, what? All right. <laughs> oh, you're asking me about saving this? No, go away. That was just a prop. A joke. Uh, all right. That'd be funny if I accidentally did uh, all my work in the joke file. All right, yeah, so it's crashing. Cool. What are you crashing about? Uh environment instance oh i typoed layers liars not just liar uh oh look at all these more other typos that i did of the exact same type uh wow look at all these in, wow look at all these typos i did of the exact same thing i must have like maybe i just like sloppy and pasted it from another uh error <laughs> from another typo <laughs> um nope <laughs> Still gone. <laughs> More of the same error? No, this is a different one, right? MFG. What? What do you like about MFG? That means middle foregrounds. I declared it. Oh. Key error. Oh. Wait. Oh. Oh, 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Env dot layers dot. What am I trying to do here? Uh. This is supposed to be next. Next end. Yeah, totally. Uh, right. I just, that was a sloppy and paste for sure. All right, there we go. It's not crashing yet, but it is. It is. <laughs> We somehow flooded the cave. I don't know why or how, but uh, that happened. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, I'll have to look into that. I just want to see if it starts working, because like obviously that is a mistake. Because the water's not moving either. Like if you if you look at it on the uh, side of the screen, like this like jello mound on the edge is like not moving whatsoever. It's just like this weird uh, jello mound. <laughs> um, so, but like, what's once the transition actually starts? Is that gonna? Is it gonna? Is it? Is the water gonna start moving? Hopefully, it would. I don't know why it's splitting already. I don't know why it's like. Okay, here we go. Is the water moving? No, the water's not moving yet. Well, it shouldn't be moving yet because we haven't we haven't seen the water source yet. Okay, the water, the mouth of the water source is about to show up on screen. Is it moving? Is it gonna start moving? No, it's just gonna. <laughs> it's just gonna sit there, pretty inert, most of the time. <laughs> oh, cool, perfect. <laughs> Ship it. What about once the transition is done? It has to start moving once the trans. No, it just disappears once the transition is done. Well, technically, it's transitioning to the next thing already. So that's cool. <laughs> ah, that's cool. Oh wow, and we trashed. <laughs> Perfect. We did it, you guys. <laughs> All right, so we're just uh. We just got something weird going on. Oh, well, so for one thing, this is supposed to be next env. This is the same mistake that we did before. So I should actually next env. Or let's, because uh, like through most of this part, we should just be working with next env. We shouldn't be working with the current environment. So where's the place where we do interact with the current environment? Uh, like this, for example. So, yeah, that's probably a mistake. Probably not supposed to be referencing current environment. Right? Or no. Maybe this is the one place that we actually are supposed to be referencing it. Because this is the one place where we're, yeah, checking the anchor point. So, that makes sense. So, maybe it's correct now. <laughs> But why was it blitting, like, at the wrong times? Like, why was it blitting just Im immediately? I, I don't know. I don't know about that part. Wait, was this a... Uh, to fix this? I think it fixed this, hopefully. Or maybe it'll just crash differently now. Let's find out. <laughs> um... Yeah, so, <laughs> sorry, why on earth is it, um, why is, why on earth is that, like, quote-unquote water back there? Why is that, uh, <laughs> why is it, why is it showing up there? I mean, like, right now, it should be transition, it should be a very early transition phase. Like, it should have been... Like, when it first starts, it should start as transition zero, and then immediately switch to transition phase one. Um, but there's no reason that should be blitting in transition phase one. Like, there's no reason that should be blitting in transition phase one. So... Uh, and then, like, the other thing is, like, once it gets to transition phase three, why doesn't it start... Um, why doesn't it start scrolling? Like, uh, this thing. Why isn't this kicking? 
Oh. Yeah, once we hit transition type three, this it just starts scrolling. What? What? What the what? <laughs> um, so yeah, what is failing here? I'm inclined to wonder. Uh, I mean, like a lot of things. <laughs> but like, oh cool, I'm another crash. Yay. What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Get item. Environment instance has no attribute get item. I don't know what you're talking about. But, uh, you know what? This block creeps me out a little bit anyway, so I'm going to say uh, for, uh, for i in range 2, uh, I'm going to say uh, for these things, scroll uh, i equals scroll i. I don't know if that'll make a difference, but this creeps me out slightly less. Just because of how Python handles like lists and stuff. I just don't trust it. <laughs> In situations where I don't have to trust it, I just choose not to trust it. Alright, let's figure out what the heck is happening <laughs> with that. <laughs> with that. With that. Well, alright, right, so I'll, um, so I'll, I'll just add in a print for these transitions. Uh, uh, so like uh, print, or I don't know why I'm putting that in caps. So print uh, uh, fa uh, phase uh, one initiated. Uh, and then I'll just do this for the phases so that we can see like when we're switching from phase to phase, at least. Uh, uh, so change this to two. Actually, <laughs> now you know it'd be even better. Is uh, uh, if I just did plus uh, bg uh, trends uh, plus. Yeah, there we go. Then I don't have to <laughs> edit each one. So this would be a an example of where I'd use an any case. <laughs> I just instead of having to like put the same thing like a million times, I would just put it in an any case at the end. <laughs> um, all right, save that and. Uh, I mean, it's only one line. Like, I'm literally just calling the function print like a million times. But I'm calling it like a million times instead of just calling it once. Uh, anyways. Uh, anyways. <laughs> um, Alright, yeah, so we run the script. What? <laughs> uh, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of forgot to... Uh, kind of forget to, <laughs> to close these strings. Uh, and if I'd had that any case, I would only have to change it once. But no. <laughs> Alright, save that. Um, Alright, we run the script. <laughs> what? Oh, it's not a string. Oh, where's my any case? Because you can't implicitly convert strings. Alright. Any case. Any case. <laughs> uh, one more. 
There we go. Save that. Run that. <laughs> Run this. So, all right. So, uh, phase one initiated. So we're in phase one, and it's blitting that stuff. So, all right. So it's not anything messed up with the phases. And I guess I should have guessed that because, uh, because uh, the the rest of the trans like the transitions would have gone super haywire if there was anything wrong with the phases. Um, so phase two should start soon. Pretty soon, I would say. Phase two initiated. Phase three should be not far behind. Uh, so now that it's in phase... Why is it not in phase three? Is it never going to hit phase three? Phase three, there we go. Now it's in phase three, it should actually be blitting the... Uh, not only should it be actually blitting the uh, the water at that point, but it should be blitting it correctly. <laughs> so what gives? Why on earth is it? So like yeah, the only the only way it could really blit that because like the only way that should be loaded is if uh, is if we're blitting new next dev. Uh, so like let's look at the references to next dev. So next dev specifically next dev layers MFG. So like, where on earth are we blitting this, even? Where on earth? Whoops, I don't want to. I don't want to replace anymore. Go back to just find. Uh. Uh. Is there not highlight all? Oh, cool! Another crash. Delightful. What are you talking about, you jerk? What are you talking? Oh, d <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, it's it's the liars. It's not just uh, it's not just the uh, the environment index whatever is themselves. It's the liars. Uh, anyways, I'm glad we crashed here. The I say anyways way too often. That is my new word that I'm not allowed to say anymore. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna drop the word any from my vocabulary. I feel that would probably be good for for a little while, and then if I if I'm able to use it responsibly, then I can have it back. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so will be, is it, I'm not doing this intentionally, but so will probably be my surrogate now that I'm not saying that other word. Uh, so right. So, <laughs> I should, I mean, I should, all right, yeah, right, so this is probably evaluating to true, somehow, right, because this is the part where we just blit it like that. Well, no, there's a lot of weird things happening. So, wait, all right, so if it, it's either, it's happening here, or, uh, yeah, right, so let's, uh, let's see where this phrase pops up. It should only be in this little section that I just made right here. And only like a few times. Oh, wait, what's this other one? If env type equals one? Oh. So this is probably what's evaluating. To true? I don't know why it would, but I assume it is. But if I take this out, then uh, it probably won't. Uh, we probably will lose all that blue stuff. Oh yeah, right. Uh, so right, I should take out all these things. Uh, save that. Um, yeah, so if I take that out, then we probably won't have that water there anymore. Nope, we still have that water there. <laughs> Alrighty then. So it's not that. That was not the culprit. What is the culprit? It's got to be one of these then. Uh, but how could we possibly be getting here? Because, like, yeah, next end event. Okay, so we're, get we're definitely getting here. That makes sense. We're never getting here. Because uh, if we ever got here, then these things would scroll. Uh, and it never seems to scroll. So how are we getting anywhere else in here? Oh. Yeah. Right? Because I'm saying less than. I'm saying less than when I mean to be saying greater than. Would probably ex <laughs> probably explain that. <laughs> so greater than or equal to? 
Maybe greater than or equal to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that explained that. It doesn't explain the rest of the stuff, but um, it does explain that. All right, so so now we should be get rid of that blue stuff. Yeah, good. But now, I mean, of course, the question is, will it show up again when it's supposed to show up again? I mean, a lot of this logic was else if. But, like, we never even got this working. Like, it never even started scrolling. Oh. Yeah, no, it never even started scrolling. So I don't know what that was about. But I guess this was not, in fact, a culprit. So that's, that's good. At least that works. Maybe. Or maybe they were both broken. <laughs> maybe. Maybe it would have happened in both cases. Phase two initiated, so... I'm not going to bank on it just magically working all of a sudden. Because, I don't know, that'd be too easy. Um, no. <laughs> Funky. <laughs> um, you are so super banned. I, I, I ban thee. Sorry, I wasn't, I wasn't paying close attention, but you're so... Oh, look at that! Whoa! Wait a second. <laughs> Did anyone else see that? It like slid in and then just like stayed on screen in a fixed position. <laughs> that was cool. Um, what? <laughs> uh, why was it doing that? It's like it, its speed was set to zero. So I might count. Am I um? Am I double processing this? I feel like I wouldn't be. But like maybe I am. Maybe I'm accidentally. Like I added in this. So wait. Let's uh. I'm gonna say uh, if false. Let's just get rid of this part and then see what happens. Uh. So if I make that condition impossible, I wonder what happens then. Sorry, I'm just going to turn the microphone off for a second. I'll be, I'm not going anywhere, but um, uh, just one second. Sorry about that. Uh, all right, so... Uh... Yeah, what? It's like, I, the only reason I could think that it would, like, accidentally stay on screen in the wrong place is if, uh... Oh, no, there is there's another thing that could explain that. It would be, uh, if I just did bad math. But, like, I can't think of another reason why it would just stay on screen like that. It's just... So maybe it's just bad math. Because if I'm if I'm miscalculating, like the the blit to or the blit from, then uh, well, no, that doesn't totally make sense to me. Why? What? <laughs> no, this just doesn't make sense. Because like this should have been evaluating. This uh. As soon as BG trans is greater than or equal to three, this should have been evaluating. And uh, when this evaluates, it should have said. So it's greater than zero. Oh, duh! I forgot the key part of this. I copied the conditional. I copied the conditional, which was important, but I've missed out on the. Uh, yeah, this one is arguably also an important part of that uh, that whole whatever yep uh, oh also the, <laughs> the fact that I'm supposed to be doing this for, for both halves is also kind of important kind of uh, where am I doing this yeah right so the fact that uh, wait where am I doing this yeah the fact that I'm doing it like for SI in range 2 is also kind of important. <laughs> so that was just me being silly. Uh, oh, that's good, though. Wait, no, it's not 100% good. Because it, if it was 100% good, 
we wouldn't have seen it like slide into place with the anchor spot. It should have been, uh, it should be moving at a consistent speed. Like it should have been, it should have been staying still the entire time. So I do, I do still have bad math, but, um, not as bad as it could have been. <laughs> uh, all right, so SI. Wait, what am I doing here? Yeah. SI, right? Uh, except this is next. Next, uh, and, and it's not um, LI, it's MFG. Uh, and it's, yeah, MFG. <coughs> And next end. Excuse me. Tea time. My tea is like ice cold at this point. It's just, it's iced tea at this point. <laughs> Which, I don't know, maybe that's still good for my throat. Uh, who needs to say something? Oh. Oh, oh, because the chat got quiet. Yeah, chat gets quiet now and then. Uh... I, I, I worried about that when I was new at streaming. Like, I was like, why is this happening? What is going wrong? But, like, the more I stream, the more I realize that, like, no, sometimes sometimes chat just gets quiet. Um, I, uh, I don't like moderating. So, like, there's a special place in my heart for when chat does go quiet. I mean, it does get, it does get boring. It does get a little bit boring eventually. But, um, I don't know. It's nice to have a break from moderation now and again too. So, don't feel obligated to say things if you if you as just feel like being quiet. <laughs> Which isn't to say I don't appreciate your conversation because I do get bored uh, eventually. But um, don't go out of your way to to make me moderate the, <laughs> the channel. <laughs> uh, I need more mods. <laughs> I just need an army of mods that that work full time for zero pay. <laughs> That'd be sweet. <laughs> um, all right, so now, oh yeah, so I still need to fix the math. So there's not really a major point in uh, rerunning the script right now because uh, I I must have messed something up here when I was calculating. What would have done that if I miscalculated? So the blit, the blit. The blit to position seemed fine. It seemed like I was miscalculating the blit from position somehow. So blit from is apparently not just blit to minus uh, minus the uh, the scroll position. Um Sorry, I'm just like, I'm just trying to think of why it's not just that. Whoa. Whoa. Did you guys see that, like, half of it's now working? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Alright, well, now it's working. <laughs> That's, like, roughly what it's supposed to be like, I guess. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> Although yeah, clearly the uh, the blit from and the blit to math is uh, is a little bit, let's say, incorrect. <laughs> let's let's say like super false, wrong, bad. I don't know what's happening. Uh, all right, so yeah, so I guess if I got blit two, no, blit two seemed fine. Blit two was actually working, as far as I could tell. Oh! Oh! I'm not actually using blit from. <laughs> I calculated blit width and blit from, but then I didn't actually use them. Which is part of it, but, like, we saw weird things that, like, more is wrong with it than just that. But, <laughs> but that is definitely true, in that I should use it. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, 
Yeah, <laughs> that would be good. I think. What um. What are the dimensions of uh? What are the dimensions of uh of these? Whatever's these backgrounds, they're, one hundred and fifty pixels tall. All right, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. So this one, um, yeah, I'm not using my blip width either. <laughs> so I probably did calculate them correctly, and now that I've calculated them correctly, maybe I should use them. No, that might be a, that might be a bit optimistic to think that I'm actually calculating them correctly. There's probably still issues, but um, all right. So x split width goes here, and then uh, and then the other thing we need is uh. Oh yeah, how do we do this? I think it's like area equals uh, area uh, equals uh, pi game rect. Uh, but in this case, the rect is uh, x split from zero x split width one fifty. Yeah. No, not width. Yeah, width. Yeah. Exploit width. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see what this does. <laughs> Alright, we're starting the scripts. Ah, uh, yeah. Wow. Look at all these players. <laughs> How did they appear so quickly when I restarted the script? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I won't complain. Uh, all right. So, phase two. It'd be nice if we could go even faster. I guess I could like, I guess I could deactivate like, the network, part, and then there wouldn't be any players. Yeah. I might do. I might do that. Uh. Just so I can test this faster. Um, so not correct. Is it correct? Oh, it might be correct. Please, 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 please don't break. Please don't break. No, you broke. Why'd you break? <laughs> <laughs> All right, super broken. Uh, for a few reasons, apparently. Um, all right, what? Well, um, I'm just gonna deactivate the network stuff in hopes of making that go faster. Just, just temporarily. Just very temporarily. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna deactivate that a little bit. Oh, you're gonna be annoyed about stuff. So, yeah, or no, I can just, uh, I can deactivate another way. I can just say, uh, I can deactivate. I can just deactivate it by. Uh, deactivating the network script, maybe? Deactivating, if I deactivate the network script... No, I'd still freak out when I tried to say things. So, I'll just, yeah, I'll just do it this way. Uh, anyways. Uh, oh, wait, no, it doesn't like that either. Alright, so where do I get data? Oh, I, that's the, uh, that's what the thread does. So can I just deactivate the network thread? I can just deactivate the network thread, I think, maybe? I don't know. I'll see if that works. Uh, that might just cause it to crash. Oh no, that's totally going to cause it to crash. Is it? Let me check. I forget if that causes it to crash or not. No, it seems okay. Alright, and there's darn new players. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so yeah, what, uh, what, um, oh shoot, I lost the line over there. Uh, it was, uh, it was here though, right? Oh yeah, and what was the error? I mean, I guess I'll find out soon enough. But um, oh, this doesn't actually make it go much faster. All right, never mind. I won't deactivate the network because it just makes it boring without the network. Uh, so where did I deactivate it? Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's see, 
what on earth was happening? Like it seemed like it's like it's, it works fine at first. Like it's it's just all super good, all super great, and then all of a sudden it just starts like we like freaking out at a certain point. Like it just starts like coming in from the other end, and then it crashes, and then it's like why? Why didn't you just instead work totally super fine? What was wrong with just to working totally secret super fine? Index index out of range. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Index out of range. How would SI get out of range? It either, it's either equal to zero or it's equal to one. Oh, list index? Wait, MFG? Wait, no. This is phase five. What, am I using SI for something? I'm using it for S. I'm using SI in range, whatever up here. But uh, if anything, I would have expected this math to go wrong and like give us an out of range thing. But how on earth does this? I guess uh. Let's see what it thinks SI is in this case. I can't use the variable explorer now, can I? No, of course not. Uh, so like print uh, uh, why does it think SI equals uh, the string version of SI? Uh, oops. <laughs> uh, forgot to open quotation marks there. Forgot the addition symbol here. <laughs> uh, plus, uh, question mark, I guess. Whatever. Oh, uh, this is going to print way too often. Whatever. I don't care. Uh,. <laughs> yeah, isn't that great, Decabit? <laughs> uh, oh, wait, what am I remembering? Oh, sorry, I was not paying attention to the chat. Oh, hey, that your fan. How's it going? Welcome. Sorry. <laughs> I was not paying attention. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, run this. I don't even know. Out of range? Like, come on. Give me something realistic. I'm literally, I'm setting it to zero right here. And the only thing that hap the only thing that possibly happens... Oh my gosh! That says SI equals I. It doesn't say SI equals one. <laughs> Whoa. Awesome typo. I looked right at it and I didn't even perceive the typo. So that would explain some things. Uh... <laughs> All right, so now maybe now that I've got now that I fixed that typo, maybe it'll just work. Uh, <laughs> equals I. <laughs> oh, cool. Super cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, all right, I'm just gonna assume that this is gonna work perfectly, and then um, and then everything, everyone will be happy, and the world will be at peace, and. Uh, all all good things wonderful wonderful things from here on out for the rest of all of our lives as long as we both shall live <laughs> or something i don't know uh this will probably be just adds up once i get this working i'll probably be uh <laughs> i am um... all right so look it's working it's working and oh no it's still not working but it didn't crash, so that's good. <laughs> oh, why did, why did that happen? Why did it... Why did it blip that? Oh. 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 Yep. I know why. It's too soon. It's not supposed... The other side... The other part isn't supposed to blip until... Oh. Oh. Whoa. Wait, hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
No, I know. I, I got this. I got this. I know. I know. I know what's happening. Uh, <laughs> so we're um, so we're doing all our fancy calculations and uh, and uh, where's the part where we? Yeah. So we blit the special thing, and then we're just blitting the other one regardless. But we actually only want to blit. Um, so so only so uh, so I guess uh, if uh, if. Uh, If this value is uh, greater than the anchor point, if this value is greater than uh, greater than, it can't be equal to, but whatever, equal to greater than or equal to uh, the uh, x split two. Then we want to, uh, then we want to blit this other half. But otherwise, we can just ignore the other half. We don't have to care about it. Super fixed. Yeah. <laughs> I um. I I hear there's this thing called being level-headed, where you're not like supremely reactionary to every small thing that happens. Um, it sounds interesting. I uh, I'd like to try being that at some point, but um. I haven't been a day in my life so far, so don't plan on changing that anytime soon. Uh, all right, so let's. So now, now it should work magically perfectly. And if I hadn't been so uh, distracted earlier, I would have mentioned that once I get this working, I'm probably going to wrap soon. And so we can do the. Now that we have like the tech working, we can start doing the art tomorrow, and uh, and then all those other things I said I was going to do. Oh my gosh, I said I was going to do so many things today. I said I was going to make new backgrounds, and then I was going to add new events, and then I was going to add new character art, and then I was going to um, uh, I was going to add add tech for like uh, visual effects when you level up, and uh, oh, an away mode, and oh my gosh, I was going to do all these things. For some reason, when I work on backgrounds, like it just takes me so freaking long. Maybe it's because I parallax. Like, maybe I should just be doing flat backgrounds. I mean, I don't want to be doing that because I like parallax. Parallax is, like, my favorite thing. Uh, <laughs> um, but, gosh, yeah. I've, whoa. Whoa. Dude, that's just, that's just, like, popped in, like, crazy amounts, right? That's, like, popped in, like, crazy amounts. I didn't imagine that. That actually happened. Hold on, let's see that again. That was like that was some like crazy pop in action. What um what would I have changed that would have caused crazy pop in? I mean it would have to be that conditional that I just put in, right? Did I, did I get that conditional? Greater than or equal to x split two. X split two is the uh, anchor point, as far as I recall. <laughs> Lauren's cheating. Lauren's the only character in the game. Lauren's cheating. <laughs> I don't know how you pulled it off, Lauren. Oh no, it's because it went by mods or something. I don't know. Wait, sorry, I wasn't paying close enough attention. But it looked like it popped in again. Why would it have popped in? I'll pay attention to the phase whatever's when it pops in. Because maybe I got like the phases slightly wrong. Or something. Uh... Oh. No, I guess this is probably always happening. And like the change, because I can see how the change that I made might have made it seem like this was happening. All right, so phase three, so it should something should be happening in terms of like the calculations. Phase four, no water. Phase five, huh? No, it seemed like it was like halfway through phase five that the water just popped in. It didn't seem to like align with the phase changes or anything. So that's weird. So what is causing that? 
at this point. I wish it happened faster. I wish it. I should probably make up a dev tool where it's like. Where I can like cheat time even faster than it is now. I mean, I could do that just by multiplying the speed values. Kind of. Yeah, I could do that. I can just, I can just increase the speed values. So it doesn't calculate more, uh, but it, um, like everything moves faster. <laughs> um, so yeah, what, what, like what would be causing this? Because the water should have been there the whole time. And then once it starts showing up, it shows up fine. It's like, why wasn't it showing up before that? Uh, I mean, it must have been the addition of this conditional, right? Because before, before I added this conditional, it wasn't doing this, right? So if I take this conditional out, it'll go back to the old thing, right? Because I can cheat around that, like if that's the... If this is like a fix to it, then oh, I was gonna, yeah, I'm gonna cheat the speed so that it just goes faster too. Uh, I'm just gonna multiply all the speeds by two, which might break things. I don't know. I'm hoping it doesn't break things. So yeah, so it'll be twelve, eight, and four instead. I think as long as I keep them the same relative to each other, it should stay the same, <laughs> hypothetically. <laughs> but I've actually never tried that before, so I'm not sure. Let's rerun the script. Actually, no, I'll, I'll watch it one more time, and then uh, and then try rerunning the script. And it's only the backgrounds that'll scroll faster. The rest of the the rest of everything else should. So this will look really weird because <laughs> like the backgrounds will be like whipping past. Um. All right. Yeah. So. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's so this this was always happening. I just hadn't noticed it previously. Yeah. So it had always been happening, uh, and the way I could tell is, uh, it was actually blit. It was it was blitting too much water. It was like showing too much water. Like I was so used to seeing water as soon as we exited the or like as soon as you could see out of the cave mouth. I was seeing we were seeing water, and that actually wasn't what it was supposed to be doing it wasn't supposed to be like there should have been like a tiny little gap and it should the gap should have widened but instead like there was a tiny there wasn't a gap it you just saw water 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 and then that little gap would disappear and it was very subtle so um yeah so hold on i'm just gonna check if the faster backgrounds work speed backgrounds backgrounds forever so like the time it takes to transition is basically t uh, based on the time it takes for the back layer to transition. So uh, by m just b bumping up the speed, it should just uh, cut testing time in half. Um, of course, I didn't fix anything. So this, of course, should be as buggy as it was just a moment ago. Uh, yeah. So, whoa. What? Am I? I might be calculating SI wrong. I think is what I saw. I don't know. Hold on, let me try that again. <laughs> I think it. Um, you know what I should do is I should put like a little dot on the anchor point. I should draw the anchor point onto the layer, so that way I know, no, 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 when it, when when it, when it's working correctly and when it's not. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. I guess I'll, I'm just gonna move this down so I can still see it while uh, I do this other thing. Uh, excuse me, sorry for all the pink uh, on screen. Uh, so open, uh, what layer? It'll be the, oh no, it uh, Yeah, no, I don't know. What? What would be causing that? 
<sighs> all right, I'll, I'll put that dot in, because why not? Uh, I want to put it where? I want to put it in uh, backgrounds, cave, uh, BG1. No. No, no, no. Transition, BG1. And close these things. Don't save. Uh, file open. I can close that one too. Uh, transitions to the river, BG1. Ping. And so it's at the 1450th pixel, I believe. So, uh, it's like here is roughly <laughs> where it should be happening. It doesn't have to be precise. Just that it, so you can tell roughly where the, uh, where the anchor point is supposed to be. Oh, look, that, I was trying to draw an arrow, but it actually came out looking slightly like an anchor. So I'll just make it <laughs> look like an anchor again. This is our anchor point. Because <laughs> it amuses me. All right, so save that. Uh, and then, uh, wait, what's this? Uh, someone said something. I know they did. Uh, <laughs> I will ban you, Decabit. I will ban you so fast if you make a bot that just spams. I will... I will ban you and then I will laugh. I will ban and laugh and laugh and ban. Ban, laugh, ban. Laugh, ban, laugh. I will have a, a wonderful day of it. Heads up. Um, wait, what did I just do? Did I put it in the right place? Backgrounds. Cave. Trans River. It's a... Uh, Put it at the, yeah, I think that's the right place. The 1450th pixel, yeah. All right. Um, <clears throat> this is a taste of what's to come, Decabit. Like, I'm not joking. I have, I have very little patience for that. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably just going to super ban you. I'm telling you this now so that you just don't waste your time. Like, go do something meaningful with your life. Because if you're gonna waste if you're gonna waste your time making bots that just annoy me, you're gonna do it in another channel. Because I'm going to super ban you from this channel. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, fair warning. <laughs> uh, yeah. So like as a general principle, I don't know if you know this, but you're not allowed to bot in people's channels. It's literally against the Twitch rules and you could get banned for that like not just from the channel like you could get reported in twitch for that so um i'm not saying i'm going to report you but i am saying i'm going to ban you and if you do that to people someone might report you and you could get like literally like just killed edited so all right so yeah it's the anchor point seems to be working some of the time and then other times not as much <laughs> um so let's figure that out uh, oh, sorry, my eye itches. Sorry. Excuse me. Uh, all right, so, uh, yeah, so what was the, uh, what was that thing with the stuff? Uh, uh, where was I working on that? <laughs> it was around here somewhere. Um, all right, so, yeah, what was wrong with this conditional then? Presumably something, or else, uh, uh, I'm not going to ban you from your own channel if you <laughs> go around bots in your own channel, so, um, Uh, what is wrong with this? Like, what is, how is this not correct? I mean, maybe we should just stop doing this cutesy little SI plus one modulo two thing. But, no, I'm gonna, whatever. 
I'm just gonna look at it more and hope that it fixes itself. <laughs> Because we, we should still be blitting this one just fine. Like, nothing should interfere with the blitting of that one. And, like, this one should be the one that, that matters. Hui. Uh, I don't know what was up with that. It's just blitting, it's blitting, it's blitting. Oh. No, and then it stops. And then it blitz again. What the heck? Why? <laughs> Why? Why does it just stop? Um. Oh. Oh. It stops when the anchor point goes off screen, I bet. No. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. So, it's not just if, uh... Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so so not if it's, uh... So I won't put it if it's greater than the anchor point. No, yeah, no, that's the condition, right? So it's, if it's greater than the anchor point, or... Or what? If it's greater than the anchor point, or if the anchor point is less than zero, maybe? I don't know, let's see if that, let's see if that does. Or if, uh... X split is uh whoops. Oh no no, it wouldn't be less than zero. It'd be if the anchor point is uh less than zero. Greater than zero? Less than zero, greater than zero. Less than zero. Greater than zero. No, greater than greater than sixteen hundred. I don't know. Let's see what that does. <laughs> greater than or equal to uh, G width. Uh, I assume the anchor point is just getting weird, and it, so it gets it. It thinks it shouldn't blit. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Sure. Oh, sure. 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 Yeah. Oh, wait, this is going to introduce a new bug. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, so... Uh, huh. No, what was, what was happening there? Because the anchor point was still on the screen. What was happening there? Uh... Yeah, what would have caused that? <laughs> Why would it have thought that... Why would it have thought that it wasn't supposed to blip there? It happened for approximately the length of, uh... The length of one whole slide, so... It's like, it's like a uh, split two. So I feel like this has to be mistaken. This part has to be the mistaken part or something. <laughs> so, uh, what might be mistaken about this, hypothetically? What would be a scenario where the scroll would be greater than the anchor point? Oh, yeah. No, that could, that could totally happen. If the scroll scroll zero is greater than the anchor point, then no, 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 no. No, that should be fine. Should it? Wait. 
scroll zero is greater than the anchor point. Did I just get SI backwards somewhere? Oh, yeah. Did I? Wait. Did I get it exactly backwards? Like, is this supposed to say one? Let's see what that does. <laughs> um, I do not know. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, because I remember I was going to, like, the calculation index, I was going to flip that around. Uh, but then I decided not to add in the calculation index. Nope. <laughs> Why is it's only working like half the time? Okay, that's definitely not better. <laughs> is it? I don't know. No, I don't think that was better. So maybe I should just like redo this part. Like step by step. Uh, because, uh... All right, so SA equals zero. If uh, if slide zero's position is greater than the anchor point, then SA equals one. Then we care about one instead. Yeah, that's fair, right? Is it? Because <clears throat> the anchor point starts... Uh, Excuse me. So the uh, the scroll position. Oh, there's one other place where the math might get wrong and weird. Oh, so yeah. For so for starters, just to see if it's maybe that the math is wrong and weird. Uh, I'm gonna disable this part. So if false. Uh, let's see what happens now. I think, uh, hypothetically, if this, hypothetically, what we should see here is not errors. We should see it, like, the water should be completely motionless on screen. Like, it should say completely, uh, 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 yeah. All right. <laughs> well, that's interesting. <laughs> I'm, so I'm guessing this is actually where I'm making the mistake. Because it seems to operate fine as long as I... Uh, well, that I would be a little hasty to assume that. But I, I feel like this is a likely scenario, a likely place for me to be making a mistake. Uh, let's see, what am I doing? Uh, next end of layers, scroll SI minus equal the speed, yes. So if, uh, next end of layers, uh, 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 sorry. Um, I don't. I usually try and get things in working order before I wrap up for the evening. But I don't know. I'm tempted to just wrap up <laughs> for the evening a little bit early. Uh, so yeah, if I don't, um, if I don't figure this out soon, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably want to. Um, just a just a heads up. This is t this took longer than I expected, so. Um, uh, so is there something wrong here? Cause like, 
when I disabled this part, it's, it looked like it was working okay, although when I disabled this part, a lot of the variables got much simpler, so it might just be that. It might just be that instead. Um, Decabit, if you're not, like, if could you leave? Like, if you're, if you're not going to be participating in this channel in the way that's intended, like, could you leave? Like, I'm not going to ban you because you're not, like, being supremely offensive, but, like, you seem to have zero interest in what's going on, and you just you're you're just talking about like other things. So, I don't know. If could you do that another place? If you if you don't if you if you really just don't care what's going on here, I'd appreciate that. It's just distracting, cause like I yeah, if you wouldn't mind, uh, I would appreciate that. Uh, all right, so. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, right, uh, so, yeah, is, did I, did I mess something up here? If uh, the scroll is greater than or equal to, so for, oh, oh yeah, for SI in range two, yeah. If uh, uh so. If layers, well, I copied this pretty much verbatim from um, the part up above where it was working. So maybe, um, so maybe, uh, um, So maybe it wasn't literally this part that was introducing an error. Maybe this part was just, uh, just, uh, redu by reduce by removing this part, I was just reducing the variables. So now that's back in, let's see, let's look at the error again. Cause like, I don't know. It's gotta be something stupid. It's gotta be like a small, conceptual error, or like a typo, or something like that, because, like, it's working mostly right. <laughs> and then, uh, no. Yeah. Alright. Come on, stuff. Come on, stuff. I mean, I know it's gonna be broken again. It just, like, stops. Yeah. Seems to just be completely off for like half of the uh, thing. Wait, is this still moving at the wrong speed? Hold on. It's hard to tell. Like, it's hard to tell with like everything else like moving around really fast. Like, how fast the. Uh... So I'm just like gonna cover up part of the screen so that I can uh, try and get a better frame of reference to see if the if the water is actually like changing speed because like the water shouldn't change speed at any point. Um, so let me see if I can try and get a good frame reference on that. So, no, it's going pretty slow the whole time. And it's literally, it's right when, uh, it's right when it switches. Like, I don't know if it start. wait, oh yeah, and then it went, it went, oh wait, wait it switched trays, <laughs> so that's why it disappeared. Um, yeah, it's right when it, uh, so right when it switches, I don't know if it's switching from SI, from from SI equals zero to SI equals one, or vice versa, but on one of those it's not working correctly. So I'm, I'm I, this is I must have just introduced a stupid typo here. Please tell me I just introduced a stupid typo like here. Please, <laughs> please tell me I did that. Exploit two. <sighs> Oh, oh 
I'm calculating X split two based on scroll zero. <laughs> How did I not notice this sooner? Oh no no no. No, it's no that's yeah, scroll zero. That's it's supposed to be based on scroll zero because uh that's that's from the other environment. Alright, yeah, no that, that that part is correct. Alright. Anchor position. Yeah, no that that's correct. It's like uh It's like this is blitting it's like this is not blitting half the time. And why? X split to X split width. Am I calculating width incorrectly? It's based on SI. <sighs> um Uh, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> I just want this to be better so that I can <laughs> go eat food. I haven't eaten anything, like, basically all day. <sighs> Sorry, why... Why else might it not be handling that switch correctly? I don't know. I just need to watch it again. It's been wrong in so many different ways. I keep forgetting which way it's precisely wrong this time. I wish I could make it slow down. I mean, I could. But I don't really feel like making it slow down when it hits. Uh... So it's working fine, and then it just stops working. It stops. So it stops working fine when this little hitch hits the edge of the screen. And that little hitch is the seam. So... But then when does it start working fine again? It seems like it starts working fine again at a weird time. Like, not on like an exact loop marker, but like, or like an arbitrary other weird position. Uh, I basically need like a pause button. That'd be helpful. I can make one too. So hitch hits the edge, stops working. Oh, hitch hits anchor point is when it starts working again. That's weird. Uh, oh, so hitch... It's when hitch is less than the anchor point that it doesn't work. So... That would seem to imply this as the culprit. It just doesn't like it when SI equals 1. Or it only likes it when SI equals 1. I'm going to try commenting these out and see what that does. <laughs> I mean, it, this should break it. This should not fix it. If this, <laughs> this fixes it, that <laughs> that make no sense whatsoever. But the weird thing is, like, if anything, I would now expect... Uh, I would now expect it to... I would now expect it to, I would expect that to have introduced the error that we had been seeing previously. I would not have expected this to fix the error. So it really shouldn't fix the error. Yeah, all right. Well, at least it didn't fix the error. Except it, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't have a good explanation for that. Um, so no, it's got to be this, right? Uh, hmm. 
I'm gonna use CI <laughs> instead of that weird modular thing. So, uh, so CI equals one, SI equals zero. And then in this case, uh, CI equals zero, SI equals one. So instead of using this weird modular thing, I'm gonna use CI. I mean, this has to be. No, that's, this isn't going to change anything, right? It better not change anything, because uh, that should be an equivalent statement. So, hmm. save that. I hope I was just being too cute with that and I actually introduced like a stupid error or something and it was like always evaluating to zero or something dumb like that that'd be great that'd be fantastic uh, <laughs> yeah I like don't even have words at this point I'm just like oh crash what's happening Crash, not a crash. I don't see why it would crash. All right, come on, keep working. Ah, why? I mean, yeah, I wouldn't have expected that to fix anything, but like, it would have been nice, I guess. If CI is greater than or equal to, that would imply there's something wrong with this statement, actually. Uh, comment sucker, hey, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I, uh, I wish I could go to bed and get some food, or any of those things. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Um, hmm. Uh... Maybe I should just like print these values to see what I'm getting to make sure these values are correct. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? So before we actually like split that stuff, let's print uh, print uh, the string version of uh, x split two, or uh, let's print uh, si string version of si, or okay, so si equals uh, plus the string version of si plus uh, uh, two equals uh, uh, the string version of x split two uh, plus uh, would equals plus the string version of x split width uh, plus plus I said uh, from uh, from equals uh, plus the string version of x split from from uh, yeah, let's see what that does. What? What are you complaining about? Invalid syntax? I must have. Oh, I closed too many parentheses here. There we go. Alright, let's see what this does. If nothing else, all these prints should slow down the uh, game when we hit that point, and so it should effectively like reduce the animation speed <laughs> kind of I don't know if that'll work 
<laughs> Maybe it will. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, moment of truth. Alright, so it's zero. It's one of them. Whoa, wait, what? Did SI stay zero? No, it's it. Oh, wait, what? Wait, why did it say zero for so long? Maybe? Oh, maybe? That's weird. I feel like it shouldn't have stayed zero for so long. Uh, let's see that again. Uh. Oh, oh, yeah, you know what else we can do? Uh, <laughs> I mean, this is kind of cheating, but, um, when we get here, we can also say, uh, we can also say anim cooldown equals, like, 0 0.05 or something, because then it, uh, then it'll start animating slower. One. Huh. It starts at zero, and it's fine, and then it switches to one. And it's fine. And then it switches to zero and it's not fine. But then it stays zero and it stays fine. So like what? <laughs> um, yeah, I need to uh Yeah, so I I don't know what should the anim I don't know what I should slow down the anim cool what the, I should slow the anim cool down down to. Or up to or whatever, but um I'll try this. Uh I wish I had a pause button too. Um, cause, uh, every time, uh, every time that little tooth, the little, like, bad seam passes the anchor point, or emanates from the anchor point, then it should be switching between one and zero. Uh, so, the little tooth passed, and that was when it switched over to one, but then, uh, it's like it switched over prematurely. Maybe? Yeah. I think it switched prematurely. So, I guess this is the wrong value to use for this calculation. Probably? No? Wait. Uh, yeah. So let's just say, uh, if xsplit... Wait, what do we do here? If xsplit, whatever. Uh, oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. All right. So if xsplit. Um, or if, uh, if the scroll 0, whatever, is greater than xsplit 2. Uh, <clears throat> I'm missing a case. I'm handling like se some some cases in which. Uh... <laughs> well, thanks N two Ader. I'm sorry I'm not being so entertaining. <laughs> no, I I'd, I'd understand if you are bored, but you are also a jerk for saying yelling. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, so maybe not as much of a jerk, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, thanks for sticking around so long. <laughs> Go get some sleep. <laughs> um, uh, Alright, so yeah, no, what am I trying to do here? It's not just... So it's apparently... So it's if... Uh, it's the case where... <laughs> um, oh, happy new year, oh, oh, wait, what, what, <laughs> happy new year's, wait, where I am, it's not even new year's eve yet, it can, there's, it's not, it's not new year's anywhere in the world, not yet, <laughs> but I guess maybe you're saying it in case you don't see me before new year's, or whatever, 
<laughs> it's not 2015 yet. So you roll. <laughs> um, all right, so... Uh, <laughs> what am I... If this is not if this is not the right conditional. What is the right conditional? So I guess I'm not checking it, just that. Uh, so why was why was it zero and wrong? It, um, yeah, all right, so it should have stayed one here. Um, it should have stayed one there. And furthermore, it should have continued calculation. Wait, so it switches over to zero, and the width, oh, 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 oh. That would actually explain more. The width is negative 912. <laughs> I guess I probably should have noticed that sooner, huh? Because if the width is negative 912, then that would explain a few things. Why would it be negative 912? How on earth could the width get to be negative 912? The, uh... The, the from is also a little bit weird. I really wish it would stop. I wish I could just pause it. Is there a pause button? I don't think that's a real pause button. Uh, I'll just close this. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that works. <laughs> um, all right, so yeah, let's look at these values. Um, and uh, how are we calculating the width? Which are we calculating first, the width or the front value? SI. So this is when SI switches back to zero. SI is switching back to zero. This is when the tooth hits the edge of the screen. So like one of the one of the one of the uh, scrolls just flipped over to the other side. Um, no. Screen position is a derived value. Like there's nothing, um, there's nothing, uh, well, I'm, so I don't know, maybe we're describing the same thing, but um, this is, this is, this is where something's going wrong, or this is where what's wrong is manifesting. So this is definitely the right place to be looking. Um, I'll just put the diagram back on screen for a second. This is what we're calculating, of course. So, <laughs> oh, sorry, my teeth are like freaking out. Creepy. <laughs> I don't use a green screen. Um, all right. I'll 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 cover my face so that my teeth don't look creepy. But, <laughs> um. So. The width is uh, S I plus g width plus g width minus blit2 it's like blit2 what wait si oh wait si plus plus g width minus uh oh sorry um excuse me uh So it's using the, uh, it's using the, the, uh, so at this point, SI, wait, what point was it? The width point? So at this point, SI is representing the, uh, the, uh, the thing that's like way off screen. Oh, oh, oh. Because the scroll position can be less than split to. So what am I actually, yeah, so, all right, we're, <laughs> we're near the, we're near this error. Um, 
What am I actually trying to do here? What am I actually trying to... How am I actually trying to differentiate between... To differentiate SI? Like, what is that... What is that fundamental difference? It's just the difference of which one's... Higher? No. No, it's not. It's the... It's the difference between... Which one is, uh... Which one's closer to the anchor point? Which one's greater than and closer to the anchor point? Nah, that's not really relevant to this case. Uh, If the scroll position is greater than the scroll position is greater than X split two or 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 Or, uh, yeah, or, um, this thing, plus 1600, or G width, is, less than or equal to x split 2. I don't want this to work. I, I don't want this to work. <laughs> I want this to still be broken. Um, I'm not going to feel a sense of completion if this, if this is uh, the solution. I'm still gonna I'm gonna remain hollow inside. <laughs> I should definitely remove this part about anim cooldown uh, changing, because that is not that's something I should never actually do. <laughs> like, anim speed is basically supposed to be a constant. It's not supposed to be a. Uh... All right, moment of truth. It's working. The tooth hits the edge. It stops working. Nope, it didn't stop working. It's continued to work. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Um, I don't even like my brain right now isn't even like processing why that worked. <laughs> my brain was just like, um, I don't know, try this. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. <why>, um <laughs> So what I have here, like, what I, my hunch is that this is actually a very poorly written conditional. Like, that I'm basically using, an, like, two or, like, two conditionals with an or to to get around, to get, like, to, to in a roundabout manner, approach the conditional that I actually <laughs> want in this case. But for now, I'm just not going to care. <laughs> I'll worry about that later. So, um, yeah, all right, so let me... The last thing I'll do before I uh, call it is uh, I'm going to add to the backlog uh, that I need to do the other half of this transition because so far only half of the tr transition is actually in. The other half should be very similar to the first half, so hopefully that... <laughs> hopefully... <laughs> Sorry. Hopefully the other half will go quicker. Um, we'll find out tomorrow. Tune in. Oh, tomorrow's New Year's Eve, so... I don't know how tomorrow is gonna go. Um, if things get boring, now I'm gonna I'm gonna stream tomorrow regardless of whether 
regardless of what happens and i guess we'll find out what happens <laughs> um so yeah if you if you want to catch the stream tomorrow tune in early because if people don't tune in early like if 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 it just gets super dead i don't know i'll probably stream anyways but <laughs> we'll see <laughs> um all right so uh uh right oh yeah so uh so like what is this this is a um this is a sub region uh transition out we did sub region trans sub region transitions in now we need to do sub region transitions out and this is very high priority so i'll put it in bold because <laughs> we only have like half of that feature implemented uh and then yeah so yeah all right cool so the rest of the fun stuff we will worry about tomorrow. Uh, so last order of business is to find a uh, find another stream. I like to uh, not just go offline, but like actually like kick it to another streamer because there are plenty of good streamers out there. And uh, don't even bother don't e don't even bother looking. I mean, you're welcome, of course, too. But um, I uh, I will just. Uh, I, I will I will not ob uh, oblige you to do so because if you stay paying attention here then uh, uh, oops what oh what huh so I'm looking for I'm, I'm, I have like a bunch of uh, people that I'm following who I like as game devs and uh, I don't know the first one I clicked on it said they were offline like I went to my list of like people who are online and the first one I clicked maybe they just literally just now went offline um, mm, nah. uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm just, uh, I'm just flipping through, uh, flipping through channels now, quietly judging them. <laughs> I'm really picky about the game dev streams that I'll watch. Um, and, uh, oh, like, for example, that one's French. And I get, I could get the sense that they're probably a really good game dev streamer, and I just have no clue what the heck they're talking about because I don't speak French. <laughs> they seem really good. So yeah, if anyone is French speaking, oh, and this person's Russian. <laughs> so if anyone speaks French, follow Tonkar, T O N K H A R. If anyone speaks Russian, uh, follow Aler Denisov, A L E R D N D E N I S O V, A L E R D E N I S O V. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, all right. Well, this is I've been I've been kicking it over to the same person for like the last few days because uh, he's online when I go offline and uh, he's good. I know that. So uh, I hope you all like drywall. <laughs> Spoilers. Um, all right. So uh, yeah. So last thing I'll just say um, thank you everyone for for tuning in today. It was a weird day, but we got stuff done. And uh, we persevered. We had some good times. We had some bad times, but we had a uh, we had all sorts of times. And uh, I don't know. I don't have any complaints overall. No, it, I have no complaints left because I aired all of my complaints <laughs> as we went. <laughs> so thank you, <laughs> thank you for for, uh, for hanging out. I uh, I I don't know. Uh, I I have I have hope for the future. Uh, like I've had weird days before, but they don't come around very often. So maybe maybe we'll be free of weird days for a while. Uh, <laughs> I um I hope to to see you all again sometime in the near future. Follow button, blah blah blah. There's a follow button. If you press it, you can follow me. And then also on Twitter at srsly underscore bz. Blah blah blah. Uh, <laughs> have a wonderful whatever time of day it is where you guys are, and uh, I I will see you soon. Bye, bye, bye guys, bye bye, bye, <laughs> bye. Now I'm going to uh, uh, input the thing. Um, so I'm waiting for stream delay right now. If you see me saying this, it's because I timed it poorly. Because uh, I'm going to input the host command. Uh, dry, host drywall with three L's. Three L's in drywall. Uh, now. All right. Um, <laughs> And...